first two, uh, first three days of practice have been really good. We, um, we've had separate practice where we bring in a first and second group. Uh, and that's been pretty, that's been really good because some guys that's getting a lot of reps that probably wouldn't get as many reps with the whole group together. So uh, we've been able to see a lot more from some younger guys and, uh, and it's been, it's been good. Typical first three days. Um, again, your first two days with Hellman. Uh, had a lot of All-Americans like like you. Do. And then uh, show the pads. Hellman come on. You got some Americans. Not all, but it's Americans. So, uh, but it's been good. Uh, one thing, I know that the injuries battle a lot, especially you know, for the fan, if you talk about the pads, is the battle. So, how much more contact happened you do to have them ready for the first week or just keep it all healthy? I know there's always the main deaths that come to college football. The first couple of weeks, tackling's not there. You might have protected the guys a little bit more. How do you think you balance that? Well, we, uh, I mean, I think every coach out there uh, do do what they but take care of the player for the most part. But um, you know they have new rules now, so you only can tackle and, and have full pass so many days. So uh, the days where we can go full pass, we're going we're gonna to tackle and, and uh, practice that. But we always uh, do what we call thudding and with, with helmets and shells and really try to practice on our fundamentals and techniques of tackling and that, uh, and that circumstances. But really, when we say thud, you you hitting, but nobody's going to the ground, but you're working on your fundamentals. So we try to stress that as much as we can when we don't tackle, you know, and, um, and then when we get a chance, opportunity to tackle, then we're going to take advantage of, uh, of those those opportunities. Well, that's the 17 guys Say that card again, I'm sorry. Well, I think it's always uh, great when you have experience, you know, so they can help uh, the young guys uh, navigate their, their, uh, those early years of, of college, you know, because it is different for all of them. And, we have guys that, that's been through it all, you know, and, and when you got guys like our players who not only experience the college college life, but football and winning championships, uh, they get the, the show and, and, and tell the, the whole experience what all our young people want to do, our young guys want to do. And, um, but also um, just show them the example and the culture that we want in our football program. <clears throat> Um, we're doing good. We're good. Yeah, our guys. We're doing really good. I, w- I would say our football team. We have a football team that want to play this year. You know, and don't want to go through the things that we went through last year. So, um, and I've, I've been really impressed with that. Our guys showing that they really want to play this year. So. I'm excited about where our guys are when it comes to the vaccine. Has the conversation been like in relation to the Well, we just um, always tell our guys to make sure you have all the information you can get, you know, and we've had doctors come in and talk to our guys. We always challenge our guys to sit down with our doctors one-on-one and get the questions answered that they have when it comes to it, you know. And, and then, again, just going off of the doctors and, and the information they give us, you know, and, and try to do what's best for uh, public safety and looking out for others. And so um, we always let our guys know it's their, it's their uh, choice, you know, but make sure they get all the information before they make any choice. And that's what anything in life, you know, get the information before you make a uh, big time decision. Coach, well, uh, with, with Coach Bowden, I think we, uh, the beauty of Coach Bowden, what you see is, is what you get. You know, I mean, he is, he's a winner. I mean, he's a, a, a great man, a great coach. He's everything a coach. I mean, 
mean, when you, when you say coach, to me, um, that definition is, is, is Coach Bowden. You know, he's a mentor, he's just a leader. He, um, he's just, he's one of a kind. You know, there's not many like him, you know, for someone, someone to be able to inspire so many people, not just coaches and players, but even fans and people that probably never met him but saw and read about him just, uh, he, he, he inspired them to, to go off and, and do wonderful things. So uh, he was special, you know, and uh, again, it's not many like that and uh, he'll be missed, and, uh, but definitely not forgotten. Coach, you know, talk about a little bit on the or whatever. Well, um, like I said, we had separate practice, so our guys have been able to get a lot of reps uh, with our, our QBs, and, and it's been it's, it's been going well. You know, guys are competing, uh, guys are making plays, guys are making mistakes. You know, uh, I think the beauty of it right now is see, seeing those guys learn from the mistakes. You know, and we have a guy make a mistake one day. We try our best to put him in that same situation the next day to see if he can correct it. And um, our guys have been doing a good job of, uh, of doing that. Uh, so we feel like when they're doing that, we're making improvements. And uh, but they're they're competing now. We're we're going to be all together. It's going to be uh, practice where they all together now at, at one time and, and see them compete, which brings different kind of. Um, competition and pressure and, and, and you love it, you know, so we're going to try to put our QBs in as, in as many challenging situations and see who can navigate through those those situations, so uh, I'm excited about today's practice because they all will be there together and the football team to see them all there together too and, and how they operate, you know and, and it's great because we're looking for it all, you know, not just on the field, who's going to lead, who's going to get these guys to follow them you know, and so that, that, that comes not just with with just their athletic ability, but the ability to lead our guys. And again, that's that's not easy to do, but that's what they all signed up for. And um, again, excited day every day to go out and seeing guys grow and, and try to do the things that we're actually going to do. Can I follow up with anyone specific that has kind of stood out in your mind that has kind of been doing the thing? At the QB position or any position, uh, yeah, all of them. They all, they all have done some good things. You know, I can say they all have done some good things. They all have made some mistakes too. But again, real early in training camp, and we're throwing a lot at our guys, uh, a lot of value with, with, with plays um, here early. So uh, again, purposely and see who's gonna, who can pick up on it and who can go out and execute what we need them to do. But I've, I've been impressed with them all. You know, just. Uh, I can tell that they put in some work this this summer, you know, and that's that's good, you know. But again, it's only been three days, and uh, it's going to get more challenging as we get in the past and as we put more in. And how much can they take from the classroom on the football field and be able to execute um, uh, consistently enough to to um, help our football team? Just a couple more guys, we got to get coach out of here. With uh, Desmond Noel being a leader from uh, having experience being here for the past few years, how has having him in the room helped some, some of these younger guys who transferred in from the Jimco and uh, developing that offensive line? Um, I think, one, just by example, you know, uh, Des, him, Nick, all those guys, they come to work every day to go to work and um, you don't have to worry about those guys missing or being laid or anything of that nature. It's important to them, and, and they show that daily. You know, uh, those guys don't miss practice. You know, uh, they, they do the things that they're supposed to. You know, uh, they're not they're not big vocal leaders. You know, but they're gonna lead by example and, and do the things that that needs that we need to do. And I think those guys that come in kind of see that the culture that we have on the whole line, and they they kind of. Well, the O-line has done a great job at bracing those guys, and, and I think they appreciate the, the guys, the new guys that's here, Kamar and, and uh, Evan. Those guys, I think they they appreciate that and, and, and like the vibe that they have in the offensive room. And Coach Warren has done a great job creating that culture. Anybody else? Thanks, Coach. All right, have a great day.